Yeah, we're at like nine, seven, eight. We're at nine, six. So, you know, we're almost like 20 thousands. Not too bad. Um, so yeah, so I'll just go ahead and do that. So where it spins, I know I have a high spot. And what I normally do is I'll just use some black marker and hit the top of my rails. And, and then uh, I'll go ahead and grind. And then if it takes away that marker, then I know it's okay. Otherwise, if once you see, stop seeing sparks, you know you're pretty much level. So you want a nice flat surface if you can for that. But yeah, and then once this is all flat, I take my V bearing. It's kind of it's kind of shaped like a V, as you can see right there. And it's just gonna ride along here. Once it starts shaping my rails, then eventually you're gonna see it. It's gonna start cutting in at a 45 degree angle to match the V bearing, and that will create some um, slag in a sense, some dross, whatever you want to call it. That you're gonna have to sand on the sides. It's almost like it's melting it and pushing it out. And then when you ride on that, it's gonna get bumpy. This thing will kind of get bumpy, so knock that off. And then eventually, you're gonna have a nice fluid motion. And then when you put this back on, your gantry, you gotta make sure that this V-bearing rides directly in the middle. If you don't, and you don't have them lined up when you're starting to do the shaping of the rails, you're gonna get kind of a weird off-center here. And then it's gonna create major problems when you're going down. You're just gonna get this really bad bumpiness because it just keeps eating this metal away. Uh, you have a lot of tolerance with these. It's just a DIY machine, but still, try and get it good the first time and then that will save headaches down the road. But you see, it's, it's already moving nice and smooth. And then once I go back and forth, it shapes it and then it'll be really smooth. So yeah, that's the setup. I just got a few more to do. I think I have two more to do. Make sure that I get them all and then we'll be good.